Hey guys, it's Nikki, and Naughty Dog has just finished streaming the weapons and perks from the Grounded Bundle, coming out the third DLC on May 6th and May 7th in other places in the world. That is May 6th in America. They've made several different changes to the game, and the live stream was pretty long, so I'm going to condense all the details into one very short video for you guys who are too lazy to watch. First off, you should know that on top of the four custom loadout slots, they're adding two more to accommodate the new weapons, as well as if you just want to have a variety of classes for whatever situation you are getting yourself into. Alongside, there are a bunch of new preset classes. So there's Assault, Sniper, Support, Stealth. You're probably familiar with those. There is now Onslaught, Infiltrator, Rainmaker, and Striker. If you guys want to know the exact perks and weapons in those presets, I'm going to put them down in the description instead of reading them because that's just going to take forever. These preset weapons have been put in for the express purpose of you being able to try the weapons before you actually buy them so they are accessible even if you don't have the weapon pack. Alright, now for the fun stuff. The four weapons in this pack are the Potato Launcher, more formally known as the Launcher, the Spectre, the Double Barrel, and the Enforcer. I made a previous video going over the basics of these weapons and you should check out that video first. I also went over the perks and all that cool stuff, so please click that video link down in the description if you need to get caught up. Before we discuss those weapons, however, there have been two major changes to two weapons that are already in the game. First off, the hunting rifle upgrades are now cheaper. They previously costed 400 and then 800 respectively to upgrade your hunting rifle, and now it's 300, 600, making it a much more manageable weapon to upgrade. The base hunting rifle now has an increased aim down sights time, and previously the hunting rifle could have a miserable, miserable four shot kill. You would have to shoot someone in the helmet once, and if you shot them in the armor, broke that off, and then in the chest two more times, that is a total of four shots, making your time to kill absolutely miserable. Well now the hunting rifle has increased damage to helmets, so you can actually shoot someone in the head, and once you shoot them in the bare chest, that's a down, making the hunting rifle a much more viable weapon against armored opponents. And so now it is at max a three shot kill instead of a four shot. The machete has been buffed once again, and I am very, very happy with these changes. The machete now has three hits on its base instead of two, meaning you can kill one person and then you got a nice slash for damage on another opponent. Also, the machete now interrupts melee attacks, which is awesome, because if someone had a big stick with scissors on it and was swinging it at you while you're using your machete, you were just screwed because the machete is a two-shot, they would down you, and you're done. Now the machete actually interrupts melee attacks similar to when you're shooting someone as they melee with the big stick, their melee resets. Machete does the same thing now, so you will win against big stick users, which I think is pretty balanced because the machete is a three loadout point purchasable and the big stick anyone in the game can get for free. Next up, the Spectre. It has a similar rate of fire to the Assault Rifle, but I can't really tell because I don't have the actual game code. And actually, speaking of the game code, the demo that was shown on the Naughty Dog livestream was on a dev kit console, so that means that some things could change to the actual game. Dev kit consoles are slightly more powerful and slightly different than the actual ones that we use every day, so keep in mind things could change. Anyway, the rate of fire of the Spectre seems very similar to the Assault Rifle, although it isn't very effective at medium range. The Assault Rifle is stronger and has better range. It has 20 rounds, it seems. I couldn't exactly count the bullets. Your aiming reticle with this weapon is very different. When you aim down sights with this weapon, there's a very small dot in the middle, pretty much a period, and there is a U-shape underneath it that expands as you fire the weapon. Strangely enough with this weapon, you buy rounds 14 at a time. I'm not sure if it's because the rounds are more expensive or if they're just giving you four extra to spray around with, but instead of the standard 10 or maybe 15, you go 14 rounds at a time when purchasing ammo for this weapon. And up next, the ever so deadly double barrel. Now I'm not too sure of the damage on this weapon. It seems like a two shot kill, although perhaps it's a one shot kill at close range. We're gonna have to try that out ourselves. But two shots seems to get you a solid down. It has a very, very large spread that actually gets bigger when moving. So if you move around with a shout A or the shotgun, the aiming reticle actually doesn't get bigger. With the double barrel, that is not the case. In fact, the character model actually holds the double barrel differently. Of course, they hold the stock and trigger the same but they put their forearm under the barrel of the weapon instead of using their hand, so that's pretty interesting. It also, which is kind of awesome, totally gives people's heads and arms. So you're not just face checking people, you're upper body checking Someone people with the double barrel. It sends their arms and face flying, and I think that's pretty cool. If anything, that'll be the reason I use this weapon. Last up included in this bundle, the potato launcher, or the launcher. Now it's a two shot kill. They did say it does 50 damage, I don't know if that's direct impact or at the center of the blast radius, 
but it is a two shot kill the reload time of this thing is between three and four seconds and the capacity is one potato or one homemade explosive device i can't really tell what they put in those things i'm just going to call them explosive potatoes because that's kind of cool the aiming reticle for the potato launcher is actually six lines that are kind of stacked like a pyramid there's two on two on two and it's used to gauge the distance and drop of the projectile after you fire it. Also pretty interesting, Explosion Expert buffs this weapon. So you're going to want to pack Explosion Expert 2 if you're planning on using the potato launcher. Now the explosion of it isn't too big, but it's a pretty good idea to pack this with the new perk damage marker, which marks enemies when they take damage, kind of obvious. And the explosive splash radius can actually mark multiple enemies around corners for you. So you might want to consider using that with your potato launcher. Last up, you should note it explodes on impact like a Molotov, but it downs people instead of straight up killing them like a bomb. And of course, there is the full auto, which isn't included in the ground bundle. It's actually included in a patch that you can get. It is a primary weapon. The full auto is pretty much an automatic burst rifle, but it is a very, very slow firing weapon. I can actually fire a fully upgraded semi-auto faster than this thing shoots. It is miserably slow, and it is a five-shot kill. I don't really see it being a competitive weapon, but we'll see how it does when it is actually out. Anyway, that's all the information I could find, guys. Remember, if you haven't seen the previous video where I go over the perks and some more basic stuff about the weapons, please go check that out. There's an annotation on screen as well as a link down in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Nikki from Stealth Shampoo, and don't forget to join me on Twitch where I will be showcasing these weapons and perks when it comes out May 6th in the U.S. Stay tuned on my Twitch channel. Link down in the description as well. All right, well, I'm going to get going, and I will see you all some other time.